Hello and welcome. This is Sadhu Swan. In today's video, I'm going to discuss uh, DAX measures in Power BI Desktop. And we are going to discuss two DAX measures today, which are uh, uh, Calendar and Calendar Auto. Let's first go and see the documentation available on these two measures. So in case of calendar, calendar is a measure which can uh, return a table, which can provide you a table with a single column. And that single column will have dates in it and the dates will be contiguous, which means consecutive dates. And these dates, we can specify these dates uh, ourselves. We can, have, we can specify a start date and an end date. And based on this, the, this formula will give us a table in, in, inside of our uh, data model. So let's uh, apply this uh, uh, measure. In this uh, Power BI desktop file, I've already imported one data set, which is uh, around, around 60,000 rows. There's already a date column appearing here, but uh, for various reasons, I want to have a date table separately uh, so that I can perform various uh, date and time functions. So in that case, I can I want to add a new table and I will click on this new table in the table tools. And in this case, uh, I, I will use the uh, measure called calendar and in calendar we have to specify just two things start date and end date either i can type in the start date and end date if i want to keep it fixed or i can also refer to a formula i can put a formula here which will give me the start date and the end date uh, let's uh, take first examples as by manually putting the uh, the start date and end date so we are going to put these start date the month is january date is january uh, first and the year is let's say 2015 and when I press comma, I will have to specify the end date again in inverted commas, December 31st, 2019, inverted commas close, bracket close, and then enter. Now you can see we have this uh, 1st January 2015 as the start date. And if I sort the table in descending order, I'll get this last date is 31st December 2019. So this is how we, are going to, we can get a calendar table with one column in it only. Let's uh, add another calendar ta an another calendar table uh, by the name of let's say dates uh, two, and in this case we are going to put in the dates uh, through some formula, and in this case I can use a formula called date, and again I will specify year as let's say 2015, month one, day one, and in end date I can again use a formula called date and in this case 2019 year and you can see now I have to specify year month and day when before then before this I specified the month the day and the year that's a, a region depends on the region settings of the date uh, date format um, 30 31st December 2019 bracket close for date and then bracket close for calendar and I press enter I get the same information, uh, one column, date table. If I go and see uh, the date, the data, the data that I have, I have uh, this uh, original data in which uh, my specific dates are here. Uh, that these dates are starting from first of January, and if I close this, uh, if I sort in descending order, thirty first December twenty nineteen. So I can use a formula here as well in which uh, I can uh, refer to the data uh, where I can find the minimum and the maximum dates. So let's click on the new table. Now we are going to go to another method dates three and in this case calendar and instead of putting a manual date here, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the minimum and the maximum date from the data itself. So for this, I will use a function which is called uh, min x in min x i am going to use uh, min x will give me the minimum uh, value of date uh, from the table specified which i'm going to specify the table is uh, dates the the original uh, the data sorry the table is the, the data and the uh, expression or the column that i want to see is uh, data date this is the minimum date I want to see here and then I will have to specify the maximum date. I will use max x again data the table name and then I will specify the column data 
date bracket close for max x and then bracket close for calendar when i press enter i get the same information now this information is based on the data itself this is giving me the minimum date as first january 2016 and the maximum date again we can see 31st december 2019 since i'm using this uh, formula here i can also specify uh, any other information that i want let's say for example minimum uh, date of uh, whatever i'm getting from the data and then i can specify let's say 365 days less for example minus 365 and in this case uh, plus let's say 365 so let's see what we get so now i get 30th december 2020 which is because of plus 365 since 2020 is a leap year i can add let's say 366 and then i'll get 31st December 2020 and if I sort it in ascending order I'll get 1st January 2015 which is the starting date of the year before so I can use this uh, formula as well now moving on to the another uh, DAX measure which is called calendar auto I can uh, e create another table I will call this uh, dates 4 and in dates 4 I'm going to use calendar auto function uh, calendar auto function does not uh, uh, mandate, uh, is, there's no uh, mandatory information that has to be provided into it. If I just leave it out and I just put it uh, without any parameters, then it will just go through the data model and it will find out the minimum and the maximum dates in the entire data model. And based on the uh, preview of the data, it will give me the date table. So automatically it gives me this 1st January 2016 as the starting date and the last date is uh, if we sort of descending 31st December 2019 the additional feature which I have in calendar auto is that I can specify uh, the f year end date year end month so in this case if I specify 6 the year end month becomes automatically uh, the, uh, June of every uh, every year in this case you can see 30th June 2020 will be my last uh, uh, date it will cover uh, the last actual data date in the data of 31st December 2019 and it will, it will go on to the next six months as well to close the fiscal year. For uh, starting date, it will go to 1st July 2015 which is the first day of the fiscal year. So if my, if my calendar, if I don't follow the calendar year, if I want to follow the fiscal year, I can use this calendar auto function which is very uh, smart. Let's go and see the documentation for this calendar auto. If I click here. You can just see that calendar auto just need to specify fiscal year and month and this uh, fiscal year and month is also uh, optional. If you leave it out, it will just give us uh, the calendar year uh, as, as a default. So I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, we are going to come up with uh, more uh, DAX expressions in future. So thanks for watching and uh, keep learning.